This video comes to you from Gongai Games, your source for Star Wars Destiny singles, sealed product, and tons of other great games. Check them out at gongai.com. Use discount code COMMANDO10 at checkout for 10% off your purchase. Hello everyone, and welcome to Dice Commando. Coming to you today from Gongai Games, this is round one of today's standard tournament with RRG in effect. On the left we have Andrew playing Phasma and IG-88. On our right we have Amy playing Elite K2, R2, and Chopper. I do apologize for the glare. Gongai was hosting a large Heroclix tournament, so we were in a different part of the building than we normally are. So, all right, looks like Amy's going to win the roll-off, which is, I guess, they're about evenly matched. So Amy will, of course, take Andrew's Steed, which will get her the shield. So she'll go both on K2. And, all right, let's get the battle of who does the dishes tonight started. All right. So Andrew will open us up. Rolls in IG to put on the pressure. So we get a two gun and a two gun. That's right into a pickings if she has it. Okay, but she does not. So power actions chop. Oh, maybe not. Okay, actually she's going to roll in K2. And we get a discard and a shield. All right, Andrew's going to open with a focus file. So six, that's two plus one and two plus one into chopper. So chopper takes six right out of the gate. All right, there's the power action for, she go the grappling arm? Yep, she does, she goes grappling arm. She it looks like she had grappling arm, salvaged arm, and rocket booster all in there, so. And that, of course, is free. All right, Andrew pays one for the conscript, so the conscript will come in with Phasma as a leader. All right, and then she'll pay one to field medic on CHOP. Phasma coming in. Got some guns there for sure. Alright, that's still a dead chopper. Alright, so riot shield. And that'll save chopper. Right, so Andrew resolves three into chopper. So she'll block two and take one, it looks like. Uh, so Andrew is indicating, of course, he has measure for measure or he wants the money, one of the two. All right, Chopper coming in with a money and a disrupt, but Chopper's likely gonna live this turn. Yeah, Andrew's passing, so it's clearly a measure for measure. So Amy will have to know she's gonna lose probably the two she flips into here. All right, so R2 comes in and Amy will get a flip. Flips the shield and then, yep, Andrew measures it. So I'll take that away and, and there's really Andrew has one card left in hand. So Amy can, yep, so she discards the rocket booster, which isn't a huge loss because she can pull it back if Chop lives. All right, she gets a discard, a one melee, and a shield. Andrew passes, still indicating he's got control. So she can still power action K2. Yep, so re-rolls K2, and gets some money, and then she'll get to re-roll one other die. And that grappling arm is on a blank. Again, I know it's in the glare and you can't see it. But that's what we're working with today. Alright, so she rolls R2, and gets a one money. So I guess she's taking money. All right, Andrew claims. Yep, so she'll take the two dollars. She'll put one into somebody here. The question is, does she play the? Uh, does she play the booster or the salvage arm? I mean, sorry. Interestingly enough, she could have put it on one of the other droids and just increased their money and gotten it back, right? So, But she puts Salvage Arm down, so it puts two into IG. 
In fact, that would have been a pretty slick move, right? Drop it on K2 and pay the one and then just get it right back. Of course, actually, she couldn't have done that because she didn't have money, but she could have taken more actions to get there, I suppose. But either way, we're at where we at, so Andrew will get us started. $2. Amy does have three resources going into this round. She just drew a Field Medic, a Pacify, and an Ezra Saber. All right, so Andrew will pay two for the A300. That gun does have redeploy. to Amy. All right, she overwrites the grappling arm, which then she can pull right back if she so chooses. All right, here comes IG. All right, there's guns. Oh, but a three for one. Andrew cannot resolve that yet anyway. She automated defenses the three, just in case Andrew's got something up his sleeve, which is a good call. So Phasma coming in with the conscript. Do you see a Phasma special, a two-gun? So looking at lethal again. She does have field medic, though. So she's thinking about how she wants to control this. She was just clarifying that the Phasma special right now is only worth two, because Chopper only has five on him. So it means action. All right, so she pacifies the two. Andrew does the one, puts him at six. And now if she field medics, she can keep him out of danger, at least for the moment. Yep, which is what she does. So one for field medic, he goes back to four. That little droid is staying alive, staying alive. All right, Andrew discards the reroll, plus two and a money, which will let Chop get in. And I can't see what he rolled. Again, I am really sorry, guys, but big tournament versus a or small tournament, one out, which makes sense. So, all right, looks like it's a one gun. So Andrew just rolled into a three for one. So there's three. Okay, so Chopper was on his two, so it resolved for three into IG with the salvaged arm. All right, so that'll kill. So Andrew's going to rendezvous. He can resolve a character die reducing the cost. And then he'll, and that does have ambush, and he goes right into Phasma Special. So he does get the one off the board. Unfortunately, it's redeploy, or unfortunately for Andrew. Fortunately for Amy, it is redeploy. So, and she has two characters yet to roll in. Okay, yep, so bringing in K2, and rolls a 2, and a shield. Andrew will, okay, claim, or not claim, sorry, feed for a resource, removing his die. All right, 2 to IG88. Has 5 health remaining. Andrew passes, goes to R2, will roll in and flip. All right, gets a dollar and a blank. Then she gets to flip here. Yep, so she goes to the one on R2. Andrew claims. She still has a power action, but one into R or one into AG. She takes a dollar and takes a shield. All right, so she's happy with that. and then drops the suppressive fire, and then we'll go into the next round.
Right, so start around three. Each of these guys will have three dollars. Andrew will get us started here. Andrew's not taking his round money. All right, two gun, a two disrupt, and a blank there on the A300. And then she'll suppressive the IG2, which makes sense. Paying one, it is still Amy's action here. Or I guess it's now Amy's action, because that is a response. And she's got pickings. Unfortunately, pickings is offline, so... Drops another suppressive that'll help protect on Phasma. So Amy, Andrew came out swinging, but had to put a ton of resources into keeping Chopper alive. There's his round resources, which let Amy kind of crawl, crawl back in here. All right, Andrew pays one for another conscript. With IG being the target, those are and generally the target. Those are pretty valuable. Alright, so there's an Ewok ambush. Oh, interesting. I think usually you want to do that with K2 out, but... Alright, so it gets a shield and a money, and then she'll flip to the one. And then with her ambush, she'll hit for one. Andrew's action. Rolls in Phasma with a special, a plus two, a money, and a disrupt. Which is that the plus two or the plus one? It is the plus one. Back to Amy here. I'm sure she just rolls in K2. K2 coming in, looks like. Alright, nothing. But she does still have the power action, so our Andrew puts two into K2, takes off the shields with the Phasma special. Back to Amy. Has to pitch to re-roll here. Oh, actually, no, she doesn't, because she has the K2 power action. Okay, K2 power action. She'll re-roll her blank, hoping for a two or a three, of course. Gets a one, and it's all money, so we were only K2, I'm sure. Now Andrew will crush the two resources. Back to Amy. That easy pickings is offline, so that's her clear discard choice. So she takes a resource, Andrew drops to re-roll everything that's not a gun. There's some black sides. It's only two damage threatening, though. All right, so she gets rid of Pacify to re-roll. And we have a blank and a shield. All right, there's some serious damage. That put him at four, six. It does not, the Phasma Special won't be on this round. So Amy's action here. Oh, so she pitches the shield. And that is the three for one and a shield. That's not bad. All right, Andrew Riot shields is 
own character. So he'll take one net when Amy hits here. Then he'll put in the four. Seven health remaining on K2. Amy will likely take her shield. Yep, she does, but that'll actually let Amy claim. Okay, so yeah, they she was gonna put the shield on, so they just hit for one. Then yep, Amy will claim up. And Andrew will pass. Alright, so if Amy can action cheat out, she can blow away IG before anything happens here. She does play Ewok Ambush. She has uh, Instigate. Droid Stay Out. Well, I guess Droid Stay Out is not technically an action cheat. Oh, and that's, yeah, that's actually what she just got was Droid Stay Out. But that won't help her cheat out. Oh, but we do see Ewok Ambush, so if she rolls out K2... She can then cheat in R2 and drop out. Yep, that's that's her play. Yep, so what she needs to do is roll out K2. And then obviously if she gets lucky, she can just hit or and roll control. But if not, she just rolls in R2 and flips to the 2 and drops. So, Or if she could just, yeah, or she could just roll damage. So it's Andrew's action here, and he's got a likely can't control them both in this deck. Best defense would do it. Okay, so he just pay he pays two and puts a a three hundred. Where's his other a three hundred? Oh, he hasn't pulled the die out yet. There it is. All right. So she'll hit for two. So it's all redeploy over. And she's gonna it looks like she's gonna stop. Looks like she's gonna leave the three for one out. It's so Andrew's rolling in with six dice. And rolled one damage there, one on, uh, one base on the conscript. So Amy's action here. Yeah, yeah, she can't. That's yeah, no, no yellow spot. So that grappling arm on R2, okay, so she's using the suppressive fire, um, yeah, technically she had already kind of moved on, but alright, still her action. Alright, so yeah, here she's going to Ewok Ambush. Gets a two melee, and then she can actually flip to the one gun. Okay, yeah, so she's okay. She's just flipping to the two. She doesn't want to pay for it, so two net into Phasma with the Ambush. Goes to Andrew. Alright, Andrew drops to reroll, leaves the one out there. So K2 is at five, so that special... Okay, but he has base out there, so that special is currently worth two, but will likely be worth three. All right, takes a dollar. All right, there's a focus fire, so he'll resolve that for one, two, three, plus two, so five total. Or was that the plus one? 
Oh, it was, sorry. Okay, so that was only four. So K2 still has two health remaining, but either way, it's in Phasma death range, so. All right, Amy pays two for the rocket booster. Andrew will drop K2. And Amy probably claims again, right? That is what she does. Andrew drops to reroll. So he just dropped to reroll again. He's thinking about leaving that out there. Do you reroll the plus two on the A300 or not? So again, he has pitched to reroll, but he hasn't. Okay, so he decided not to reroll the plus two. He just gets the blank. Yeah, that's a hard decision, right? Because you have the one gun base, the two gun base, and the plus two base. So do you go for maximizing damage, or do you go for just damage? But either way, he got nothing, so. All right, but Amy will open us up here. So she has an instigate, but there's no kill there. So she probably wants to get that grappling arm down, unless she drew something else. It doesn't look like it yet. So grappling arm for one down. All right, so Andrew's bringing out Phasma, six dice again. All right, there's damage. All right, so that is the plus two this time, confirmed. So that's four, so six showing. So she's got two motives. All right, so motive, the conscript gets it removed, and then Andrew will hit. So two net through the shield. Six health remaining on R2, two eight health remaining on Phasma. All right, so she's going to pay one, instigate in. So she'll get an ambush action here. All right, a one, a one, and then she does get a flip. So R2 is the right flip here. Okay. So the reason R2 is the right flip is because the Ezra Saber has 50% damage sides and R2 only has 33% damage sides. So on a reroll, the Ezra Saber is more likely to hit. Plus it was showing the shield, which can raise the damage. But Either way, Andrew just paid one for the riot shield, which will take three. Which isn't going to be super useful to him with all these little pings on the board. So Amy's going to... Looks like she's going to motive. All right, she calls guns on Phasma. Gets it, removed. Not bad. Andrew has low chance here of getting what he needs with these two dice. All right, so Amy will do two ones, so Andrew will take them both. All right, then he, okay, he measures the one away. That's not a super effective use, but. All right, so Amy drops to re-roll. It's a one. Andrew claims he'll take the one. All right, so this is going to be interesting. It's going to be very interesting. Do you remember Amy has the power action, or not the power action, the action on the rocket booster, which allows her to roll in and then immediately resolve all of that character's, any or of any or all of that character's dice. Of course, then the rocket booster goes away. And she has an inskate as well. All right, so Andrew starts us off. We're going to roll in. He'll have six dice here and put the pressure on. All right, that's it right there. Oh, Beguile will definitely work.
All right, so she gets a reroll, a blank, and then a remove. All right, so she's going to reroll one of the guns. It's a disrupt. So she'll blank the other gun, and then Phasma gets away. Okay. Andrews, yeah, just basically pitching a reroll for damage here. It's really all he's got left. Blank, two gun. She does have an automated defense, but she cannot pay for it. Yep, so she's going to have to rocket boost her. So she needs to do seven. Well, we'll see how it comes out because that riot shield can absorb. All right, so she gets mixed, but it's not going to be enough. It's exactly enough, but not with the riot shield, so... Looks like Andrew's going to take this one. And it's got to be a top side only. It's going to be one short, I think. Yep, it's going to be one short. Because Andrew will take one of the twos on the shield, and then he'll take the other four to leave him at 9, which will be enough for a kill. So, Yep, so there's the 2 on the shield. 2 more puts him at 7, and then 1 and 1 puts him at 9. Valiant effort, but not quite enough. All right, so she buries Luke's for a shield. Andrew just needs two. So Andrew has two cards left. It is Amy's action right now. All right, so she passes. Andrew shoots. So Andrew's got two rolls to hit damage. All right, that'll do it. All right, so Andrew hits the damage. Yep, she just couldn't play for it. All right, nicely done, guys. If you like what we're doing here on the Dice Commando channel, please show your support with a like and a subscribe. Please remember to keep all comments civil and constructive and to help us continue to grow this amazing community. Thank you for watching Dice Commando. Hey, I'm Nathaniel. Thanks for watching Dice Commando. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the comments. Yeah. Thank you.